welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a quick little video on how to add transitions in between the scenes that we cut up and rearrange and reorganize that we learned how to do in my last video. I'll put a link right there in case you missed it. So let's dive right in. Let's open up a file. Pause that. That's me. And we'll give ourselves some room to work. So again, this is a preview. It's not ready to work on. You have to click, hold, and drag. Anywhere down here, this is the timeline. And I'm going to let go. And boom, there's our first V1 video track one. And for fun, I just like to do this. I like to add extra tracks to give myself room to work. We can take them out later. So this is about a, let's see, let's click the end. And, okay, there we are. This is about a minute and two seconds video. So let's cut this up. Let's zoom out. Zoom out. It's one, two, so let's click. Okay, there is the entire video. Click it. And let's put the playhead right there. Split at playhead, which I taught how to do in the last video. Split at playhead. We're just going to make a bunch of pieces. And we're going to have some fun at the end. It's want a bunch of little pieces to rearrange so we can see what is going on. Let's make some more. Let's keep cutting things in half. Okay, that should do. So now let's um, let's move. Let's scramble things up a little bit. Let's take that. Let's put that back there. Keyboard delete, keyboard delete, keyboard delete, and keyboard delete. So when you take a file clip, let's zoom in. When you take one file, let's bring that, let's scramble things up a little bit. And you drag it over another file, you get, there we are, this little crossfade. Let's play it and see what it looks like. Let's see that again. A little fade dissolve. So that's one transition. Let's move. Let's bring this guy over there. There's another crossfade. That will be another transition. We'll change later. Okay. Let's move over here. Let's bring this last guy in the end. There we are. It's a nice big transition there. And we'll move this guy over. Overlap. There we are. There's a transition. So this is going to look goofy and choppy when we're done. So transition one, click on it and go up and click the properties tab. Okay, it was already there. So here is the menu of transitions. The default is the dissolve. We can pick all of these. I'm not going to go through them all because that will take too long for the video. This is a quick tutorial. So let's pick for this one, diagonal top left. And for this one, we will pick matrix waterfall vertical. I'm going to make that shorter so when we're done we can watch our movie without taking too long. And for this transition, we're going to pick oh, iris box. I've never seen that. Let's make it shorter. Make it shorter. So when we're done, we can watch our finished product. Then this last transition here, clock top. I don't know what that is. And let's make that shorter. That'll be the end of our video. Move, remove that space, and we're ready to begin. Let's cut this. All right, let's watch all of our transitions. Let's go back to the beginning, and here we go. That was nice. I like that one. Let me see that one again. I didn't catch it. Okay, so clockwise. Interesting. One more time. First transition, second transition. There, okay, nice, cool. And then clockwise. Okay, very good. So we did one, two, three, four. You can experiment with your own transitions. You can try them all out. You can try making your custom one right there. 
So that's it for now. That's how to add transitions in between scenes using Shotcut. Thank you. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you enjoy this content. Turn on the bell notifications so you know when I drop new videos. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.